when I retired after 13 years in the league, right? Man, like I was on the couch every day. I gained 15 pounds in the first month. Mm. I, 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 I'm not a depressed person by any stretch, but at that moment of my life, I didn't know who I was. I was so uncertain of the person that I was every morning when I woke up, felt like I had somebody sitting on my chest each and every day. And it wasn't until I had my wife and my best friend Kate kick me in the ass and be like, listen, like baseball wasn't who you are. It was just something you did. It's just part of your life. It doesn't define who you were. Like, let's go. Let's get it back. Like, you got a lot to give this world still. To the On The Ball Podcast. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, ballers? And welcome to another episode of the Beyond the Ball podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones. And, and just, just like I always share with you all, you know, we, we get the opportunity to just come in contact with these just amazing individuals. And I love to connect with different people and bring them to the platform because I know that there, there are so many impactful stories. And in addition to having so many impactful stories, but just having the opportunity just to inspire other people. So, so for everybody who, who's not familiar with, with the podcast, this might be your first time listening. The purpose of Beyond the Ball is ultimately to focus on stories, strategies, and successes to ultimately be a resource to help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. You so, all, we've talked about it before. I've said it many times, talking about the podcasting for players podcast program right so we've put together a way that student athletes can begin to start their own podcast and how, how they can begin to prepare for nil as it's coming up right and be ready to rock and ready to roll have their platform do everything that they need to do to have a successful podcast i want you all to click the link in my instagram bio click that link and also click it down in the show notes podcasting for players the time is now for our players to start their podcast, get their message out there, and be prepared to position themselves for long-term, lasting success. So I'm, I'm excited today. I had to go through the prelims, but but now we're going to go ahead and get this thing kicked off, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad to to just welcome to, to the Beyond the Ball podcast and, and welcome to the stage, man. N none other, none other, man. Then we're going to go ahead and bring this gentleman out, and he goes by the name of Mr. <laughs> Nick Swisher, what what is going on, my man? What it do, JJ? What's happening, baby? What's going on? <laughs> man, I'm 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 living the dream, man. I'm living the dream. How about you, man? How you feeling? Oh, same here, baby. Feel blessed, man. I tell you what, feel like there's a lot of uh, just feel like there's a lot of goodness going on right now, and I'm I'm glad to be part of it, man. I'm glad that you and I connected, bro, and I'm happy to be on the podcast, baby. Be on the ball, brother. Let's get it, man. Yeah, Nick. Like I, I I don't I I even know where to start I I, I don't even know where to start Okay Okay Here Here We'll, we'll go here we'll, we'll go here So 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 Nick you, You're this guy Just like You have this aura about you Where you're just like so charged And you have this energy Man Nick Go Go ahead Just Just, just talk to us a little bit about that Like Where did this energy come from And Why are you always so charged T Talk a little bit about that Nick well, I, I appreciate you saying that my man It's a lot cooler having this energy at forty than it was at like eight or nine I know that. <laughs> That's, there's no doubt about it. People are like, man, this kid is like off the walls at eight or nine. We need to get him on some medication. But now they're like, man, this guy right here, bro, this energy is amazing. So I feel like for myself, Jay, I feel like I've been proud because I've always been the same person, right? I feel like I've always mm -hmm. tried to be me, right? You've got to be you. you got to know thyself. And for myself, that's kind of how I've always gone, right? You know, being an athlete, you know, sometimes you really have to bank on yourself and you have to believe in yourself. And at the end of the day, if you're not taking your taking care of yourself, how are you going to take care of others? So I think for myself, just to be able to wake up each and every morning, my man, open my eyes, hit the ground running, man. I try and soak up each and every day because you never know when your last one's going to be. Yeah, man. I, I, I love that. I love that, Nick. And, and you know what? You bringing that energy to a time like right now, like where we are in the world, where it's such a dark place. And, and I think we need that energy right now, man, like never – like never before. So, man, just like th this is this is something that just like you said, this is something that we need right now. And 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 then just seeing you as as baby Nick Swish and then now seeing you to the point to where you know you're being seasoned Nick Swish, 
like I think that's just really I, I think it's I think it's just really cool just to ultimately see the evolution. But but Nick, man, I, I really want to just just ask you and just talk with you about man, just like you've accomplished so much, dude. Like you really accomplished so much, you know, th- thinking about seeing you on, 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 on TV shows, man. Cause one of my favorite shows is the game. So, you know, seeing you on, oh, on the yeah, game. Bro. Oh, yeah, school, man. Taking it back, baby, taking it back. Had my long yeah. salad back in the day. I remember that. Yeah. So Nick, so seeing you on, on the game and, and then seeing you over here on acting on how i met your mother so so talk to me a little bit about about that nick so is so is, is nick swish a, a actor now is is that something that, that we're gonna see more of like you know yeah, i just want to know I, what to expect <laughs> i don't know man i don't know i feel like i'm waking up each and every day trying to live it to its fullest and really kind of trying to figure out this whole second career of mine right listen i was so blessed to be able to have a job that i had a passion for and a love for for the first you know 36 years of my life. But now when that goes away, you got to do a lot of soul searching. You really have to try and figure out exactly what it is and who you are and what you want to do in the future, right? Listen, man, I've never lived my life on a plateau. Baby, I'm always Mm. working uphill, right? Always trying to get better at anything in life, whether it's being a human being, whether it's being a husband, whether it's being a father, whether it's being a mentor to some of my young kids. At the end of the day, bro, like right now, Jay, I believe exactly what you said earlier, Man, we need people to step up more than we ever have before in our lives, right? We need people to be leaders. We need people to help see each other, right? Like be the best versions of ourselves that we've ever been. And for myself, man, this past year, bro, I learned a lot, right? I did a lot of inward searching, right? Some soul searching and really realizing to myself like, wow, man, I can be better than I ever have before. So I think with all the ass kickings we took in 2020, with COVID, all the social issues, all of that stuff, man. Right now, 2021, baby, today is the time to be better than we already ever have been, man. If you haven't started, start today, because right now is the first day of the rest of your life. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick, I I love that. I love that. Like, like, I, I love how you really talked about constantly living and being on an incline and, and never allowing yourself to, to, to plateau. Because for me personally, like I think about that old Albert Einstein quote, right? That, that says the moment you stop learning, that's the moment you begin to die. And man, you're, you're oh so my right, goodness. right? I used to always say that, you know, when I was a baseball player, I always just felt like, man, the minute I stop learning stuff, be the minute that I, t- that I hang up the spikes because it just kind of felt like I was always learning something. And not only that, man, now I'm in like this, this big grand thing we call life. And baby, I'm learning stuff all the time, right? Like all mm. you got to do is open up your eyes, open up your ears, have an open mindset to all the things that are out there in the world. And I can promise you, baby, you're going to learn a whole lot just from being there, right? Being present, understanding where you are, using all of your senses. And so for somebody like me, right? Listen, man, I don't have a college. I don't, I don't, have, co- I don't have a college degree. I barely got by in high school. But at the end of the day, man, I want to do my part to be the best version of myself each and every day and to try and push that on other people and to let my infectious energy just do what it do. Because at the end of the day, man, waking up and being like this is easy for me. Mm, Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned so you mentioned mentioned mentor like you mentioned just you being a mentor. and, And now just like what you're saying, like you passing on, you know, the things that you've learned to be your best self to encourage other people. So talk talk about just just how did how did you come into that space where you decided that that this is something that that you should be doing? This is something that you have a passion for. Talk a little bit more about that. Well, I mean, hey, I have learned from an early phase of my life, right? Like, you know, my father always told me, man, you know, your family's always going to be there for you. Listen, it's not always easy as a professional athlete. Sometimes when you're doing well, maybe they put you on the top of the mountain. But when you're struggling, mm-hmm. boy, you are down in the gutters, no doubt, right? I've had some great articles written about me. I've had some bad articles written about me. (laughs) But the one thing that I've learned over the last three weeks of being on this Clubhouse app was that life doesn't happen to me. It happens for me, right? Mm. It doesn't happen to you. It happens for others, right? Your life is supposed to be used as a blueprint to help others in their lives. And from all the amazing people that I have met through that Clubhouse app, man, like my heart is full Monday, Wednesday, Friday, bro, like I am on fire, right? I feel good about what we're doing because we're putting that goodness back in the world, right? I'm a huge believer in karma, right? Good things happen to good people. Keep grinding, keep pushing that bright side of the world out there. And I can promise you, man, it'll come back to get you. Because myself, I've been so blessed 
throughout my entire life to have so many amazing people in it. And I mm. want to be that same rock, that same pillar that those people were for me. Right. And that's exactly what we've been able to do right through social media. Right. Being able to utilize all these different platforms. Right. Stand for the good in life. Right. Put some good sunshine out there. Right. Pump the world up with all that goodness, because right now we need it more than ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you went so you went to Clubhouse, Nick. So I got I got to ask you, how, how did how did the concept of the secret sauce room come up? Because I mean, <laughs> like I, I stumbled into this room one day and then I and I see these three guys at the top of the stage and then I, I, I hear them with this high energy. I hear them just sharing a lot of insight. But then even outside of that, you all are sharing the platform in a way I haven't really seen it shared and leveraged. So just talk a little bit about, about the concept for the for the secret sauce room and talk a little bit about Clubhouse, man. <laughs> man you're right, I mean, I don't even know how it all came to be. All of a sudden, I heard about this Clubhouse app, and then what I do, I downloaded it, and then my buddy, Chris Palashik, right, Thunder, was like, hey, man, we need to do a room, man. We can bring some energy to people because I think we could really help a lot of people. And I'm like, bro, you know if we're going to help somebody, I'm all about it. And so then being able to bring up a couple of our other buddies, six, eight and four, four, and to be able to experience that platform. But the one thing that I didn't really appreciate about a lot of rooms in clubhouse was felt like I was in a college lecture, right? Mm. I'm not a type of guy that gets down with an hour long lecture. That's not it, right? Like you're never going to be the best you can by yourself. You don't have all the answers. So why not utilize the rest of the group to help you figure out all those answers? And so that's where the secret sauce came up having all little different ingredients, you sprinkle in your secret sauce combo that helps you be successful in life. Listen, bro, we've heard from people all over the country, all over the world, all different walks of life. Like, baby, I don't care where you come from. I want to <laughs> hear what you got to say because you have something to add to our room. So that's why I bring up each and every person. I probably offer an invite to every person that steps on into that, into that clubhouse room because I want them to feel the love, the excitement, right? The, the, the empowering and, and the overall just backing that we all have for each other in that room. Because listen, I may not know all these people personally, but I have developed a relationship with them that now I got their back, man. Like when I go to bed at night, I'm thinking about these people. I'm thinking about that little kid that Ray was really helping out when he was dealing with the substance abuse problems, right? Like mm. I'm really thinking about somebody that went through a major car crash or went through some tough times early in their life that have bounced back to be in the spot that they are now. Like right now, bro, like that is true individual people, right? That is people at the core. We have created a community that is made up of all these amazing people. And it's because of all these amazing people that that room is the way it is. I don't want to be up there talking, hearing myself talk all the time. I want to learn from others. And that's why I think this platform is so beautiful because each and every person adds value to that room. And I want to hear what you got to say. Yeah, yeah. And one thing that you that, that that really just popped out to me and one one of the times when I, I was in the I was in the secret sauce room and, and then people were sharing different things and then you were you weren't too proud to say, hold on, wait, 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 wait a minute. And then you asked a few people to repeat some things back that they shared so you can take the notes. J just talk talk to me a little bit about because I know we have we have a lot of coaches that listen to the platform. We have some student athletes that listen to the platform. Just talk about the importance of, of just being like a lifelong learner. Oh, man, look, Jay, man, I got my book right here. Follow your dreams. This is, this is my notebook, right, where I keep all my notes every day. Because the one thing I also think that people appreciated was I want people to know the value they do bring to that room. So I write down every note, right? I mm. write down everything that everybody said. Because at the end of it, I want to go back and give Ryan some love. Because we were talking about, we're talking about giving back today. And he was talking mm. that giving back brings humility, right? I want Ryan to know that that added value to our room. So I write down each and everything everybody says because I want to be able to reiterate that to people moving forward. At the end of each show, I always go back and give the highlights of everything that everybody has gone through because for the note takers in the room like myself, Listen, bro, I want to learn, baby. Like, I'm not the smartest guy. <laughs> I want to learn. I want to be able to utilize all these people because the great part about all these people in our room, every single person that walks in there is unique in their own way and they're special. And I need to see that. I need to feel that. I need to experience all of that. Because listen, man, sometimes the way people break things down or the verbiage that some people use when they explain something might make sense to somebody else when somebody mm. else was telling them the same exact thing. Come on, Jay, you've been an athlete. You understand when a coach is talking to you and he keeps beating you over the head with the same thing, but then your teammate maybe says it to you in a different way. 
you're like, mm. oh man, that makes so much sense. So for somebody like me, that's you know, been coached by a gazillion people in my life. Now, all of a sudden, I feel like I'll be coached by all these people, which are really helping me elevate my life, helping me to be the best human being that I can be. Because at the end of the day, that's what I'm striving to do right now. I got two little mm. girls, baby, and I want to be a ray of sunshine. I want to be a mentor. I want to be a hero to both of those girls each and every day of my life. I love it. I, I, I love that. I love that. So since, since we're talking about, you know, evolving and growing, I, I got to I got to ask you, Nick, because I know that you've you, you've transitioned in a few different capacities, just, just like I said before, just in regards to, you know, being being a man, a World Series champion for one. Golly, man. <laughs> freaking world series champion you know and and and, and then seeing fatherhood and, and being a husband so like I, I want you just to talk a little bit about like like the transition and talk about just the importance of like a young student athlete and you know them finding their identity outside of the sport yeah 100 percent. it's something that i really struggle with right when i retired after 13 years in the league right man like i was on the couch every day i gained 15 pounds in the first month mm. i i i I'm not a depressed person by any stretch, but at that moment of my life, I didn't know who I was. I was so uncertain of the person that I was every morning when I woke up, felt like I had somebody sitting on my chest each and every day. And it wasn't until I had my wife and my best friend Kate kick me in the ass and be like, listen, like baseball wasn't who you are. It was just something you did. It's just part mm -hmm. of your life. It doesn't define who you were. Like, let's go, let's get it back. Like you got a lot to give this world still. And it was at that moment that I thought to myself, holy shit, like I'm so blessed to be able to have people in my life that are looking out for me, right? That are trying mm. to help me move forward through some of the darkest moments of my life. Because listen, Jay, from some of the darkest moments of my life, my man, have come some of the brightest suns. And so mm. for me, I li like literally, it's like, I know when I'm in a deep, dark spot that something great is gonna happen afterwards because I'm gonna grind and I'm gonna get through it and I'm gonna deal with whatever with whatever that problem is so that I can reap the benefits of everything on the backside. Listen, I dealt with retirement. It sucked, it was hard. I cried a lot because the mm. my passion in life was taken from me in my mind. But now I can sit back on a platform like this and be like, baby, it was the jam, bro. Like it was so much fun. <laughs> I had like the best time ever because listen, man, I'm one of a few guys that got to do something in life that he loved for the longest time. I find that to be a blessing. Not everybody wakes up and is happy with their life. So for somebody like me that was fortunate enough to experience all of that, why would I, where would I be in this world to act like I'm better than thou or something like that? That ain't my style, baby. Like I want to help. I want to give back. I want to be a bright, you know, bright light for people. And especially, man, listen, bro, like I had a great first career, but now that that's over, brother, I'm just like everybody else, you know? I'm still <laughs> trying to figure it out one day at a time. Mm, man, yeah, that's real. That that That's super real, because I know so many people, you know, just faced with that transition, just trying to navigate through and just trying to, you know, figure figure all that all that stuff out. And and just just thinking about that, I I got I got to ask you because I I really want to want to hear your hear your thoughts on on this, Nick. Just in regards to the, the, this name, image, and likeness conversation coming around for these student athletes, and they're talking about should the players get paid? How much should the players get paid? Do you think this is going to help the game? You think it's going to hurt the game? Like, what what are your thoughts? Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know what, man? I I guess I'm kind of up in the air. I really, if I was a student athlete, that's not what I'm paying attention to. I'm not worried about that, right? Because mm. I'm on I'm on a goal, right? Like I'm on a mission. I'm in a rocket ship to go somewhere amazing, right? I don't know exactly where that is, but that was where my mindset would be. I never thought about making money in college, right? And I was pretty decent at the time, but I never thought about, man, I need to have money. That well, bro, I never had money growing up anyway. So I'm like, bro, <laughs> you're gonna give me money? Like I never had any of it anyway. So it's not really gonna change anything in my life. I mean, even now, right? I mean, I'm still frugal as they get. I may have a little nicer car than I had before, but that's about it, you know? So, yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I think, you know, that is the one differentiating thing from college sports to professional sports. So I'm mm -hmm. interested to see on how that goes about it. But then again, like, think of like some of these athletes that have gone through the collegiate level and have done so much for their universities. I mean, we think it's like some of the biggest names ever, like a Tim Tebow, right? Mm -hmm. Or a, a, a Tua Tunga Vailoa, right? In Alabama, like the things that they've done for their university and at the end of the day, right, didn't receive any compensation for that. I understand where those guys are coming from.
But at the end of the day, man, everybody's striving to be the best at whatever they're doing and getting to that next level, the goal. So I think if you start to worry about the money aspect of it, listen, that's too much of a business, bro. College mm. kids don't need to know that professional sports is a business. Not yet. They need to understand that it is a passion and a love. And then if you spend enough time in it, you will realize how much of a business it is. Don't make college a business already because I think it's going to take a lot of the fun away from the game. Mm, that, that's that's good. Yeah, that, that's that's good. I couldn't agree with you more. I, I couldn't agree with you more. So uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to get ready to let, let you run here in just, just a moment, Nick. But before I let you let, let you go, I have something I like to run everybody through, all the guests, and it's, it's called the two-minute drill. Okay. Oh, baby, and, let's go. I'm ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and then two minute drill. I'm, I'm going to ask you just some rapid fire questions, just just to have have a little bit of fun. And then uh, you definitely can let people know where they can connect with you. And then then I'll send send you on your way because I know you said you're excited because your wife's coming back home. And oh, you know, I know man. it's always it's, good to be able to just relax with the wife. Well, man, it's been a month, bro. It's been a month you've been. Oh, wow. Me. It's been me oh, and the girls, man. bro. I've been missing mom, bro. So I'm happy for <laughs> mom to get home tonight, bro. Big time. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mom, you took it back. Oh, oh man. man. I got the coffee mug, bro. I got my like my my cookie bib, like the whole nine, bro. I got it, man. I'm good to go. <laughs> oh man. I love it. I love it. Okay, okay, okay. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and kick this thing off. Are you ready? Oh yes, sir. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Favorite food. Burgers. Okay, whose burger? Whose burger is the best burger? Well, it's, it just depends, man. It just depends. What, what are you looking for, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to go a little vegan route? You want to go a little beyond meat? Or are you really trying to just put it in there, Angus style, bro? We can go, you know, it just kind of depends on what you're up for. Depends on where your cholesterol level is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Okay, what, what's what's the most underrated cereal? Uh, man, I'm telling you, bro. Now I know. If I knew now, back then, what I know about cereal now, bro, I ain't eating. None of that, bro. <laughs> Underrated cereal, Fruity Pebbles, bro. No doubt. Oh, my, my man. Cereals. My ever. man. Yes, oh, yeah. my man. Okay. <laughs> well, what what book are you currently reading? Oh man, I actually uh, I'm actually reading number thirty three, uh, this Narwhal book with my daughter right now. Listen, we're getting ready to get into the second grade LEP. So we've been trying to read 15 minutes a night, maybe 20 when I push her a little bit, you know? But she's like, Dada, you're pushing me too hard. And I'm like, listen, listen, we gotta go. We gotta learn these words, you know? So I'm definitely, I'm, I'm reading that book right there. Uh, and one of my favorite books of all time, I have it with me all the time, bro. Uh, it's a book called The Edge. And it's mm. a quote book, it's written back in the 80s uh, uh, by my man Ferguson. And it is absolutely amazing. Anything that I need, quote wise about any sort of facet of life this mm. book has them in there man and so for somebody like me that is kind of jumping on this you know these new platforms and meeting all different types of people i want to recreate a book like that i want to mm. i want to learn from so many people create this amazing book of great quotes that can get people through tough times because listen man life ain't always easy and sometimes it's easier to read things than it is to actually face things so at the end of the day if i could provide some people with an amazing book here in the next couple of years that's exactly what i want to do wow i love it i love it what, what, what's your favorite favorite podcast Ah, man, favorite podcast, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. I might have to be beyond the ball. I'm not quite sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, man, it's so funny, man. We've got, I've got so many of my friends that have podcasts out. Mm. And, man, I'm such a music guy, bro, that if I'm in the car, baby, I'm not damn it on a podcast because nowadays with that Clubhouse app, I would rather jump yeah. on the Clubhouse app than I would a podcast because I could feel like I could be part of it, right? Like, I'm mm. one of those guys that I'm always moving, so I want to feel like a part of something. And maybe that's why our room in the secret sauce room is how it is, because I want everybody to feel like they're part of it. Because, mm. man, that team-type atmosphere is way more powerful than an individual atmosphere, I think. I love it. I love it. And then one one tip that, that you want to give to a student athlete. Man. Um, Whatever you want to be in life, work to be the best at it, right? And I was able to have a father that played in the big leagues for 10 years. He was an all-star, right? The whole nine. But he never forced me to do anything, right? He always mm -hmm. told me, like, Nick, I don't care what you do in this world, son. You want to be a trash man? You be the best damn trash man in the world. You want to be an artist? You be the best damn artist in the world. You want to be a musician? You do that. And so I think for myself, my dad took the chains off of me early and let me be me. Right. Like didn't try to mold me into something I wasn't. And for everybody out there listening that has kids, I'm going through the same thing with my kids. It's like, listen, 
Like you can't tell your kids what to do. They're just going to figure out what they like in life and they're going to move forward to that. So I try to give that same advice to my daughters. Whatever it is you want in this world, work to be the best at it. That I, I love that, man. And, and last thing, man, last thing. Who's one guest that you would like me to interview next on Beyond the Ball? Wow. Beyond the Ball, man. I'm telling you, there's so many amazing motivators out there. There's so many amazing people. Uh, I, I, I guess I would want, for even for myself, I like to see the coaches. Right. I like listening to guys that have been there and done that and dealt with people and understand like exactly what people are looking for. So I don't know, bro, maybe like a Mike Shevsky or somebody, bro, Coach K or somebody, you know, maybe like a Phil Jackson, like learn from those guys. Ooh. You know what, man? Like at the end of the day, you learn so much just from opening up your eyes, looking and listening. And for somebody like me, man, you know, I really want to soak up all of these platforms as much as possible. There's a lot of information out there that I don't quite know just yet. There it is. There it is. And Nick, man, go ahead and let everybody know where they can find you, follow you, and connect with you in this wonderful world of social media. Yeah, baby. I, uh, uh, at Facebook, uh, at Nick Swisher, right? On Twitter, at Nick Swisher. Uh, Instagram, at your boy Swish. TikTok, at your boy Swish. And Clubhouse, at baby. Find me in the secret sauce room, baby. <laughs> Come and find us out, man. 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. 8.30 to 10, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We have an unbelievable room. And right now, Jay, I mean, I don't know about you, man, but I'm all, I'm getting off on this clubhouse thing, man. Like I'm loving it. I've met so many amazing people. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm really making a mark and helping as much as I can uh, on that platform. So man, for people that haven't found out that clubhouse app, get on that thing, man. Find your crew, find the people that, that you want to be around. Cause I tell you what, it really, really helps. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah, man. Definitely. Definitely. Clubhouse is definitely where it's at. Uh, man, and you all, what you're doing through the sauce room and, and you're giving people an opportunity, you know, be able to share their voice, giving people an opportunity to be able to inspire others and really get connected with one another, man. So I really love what you're doing, Nick, with the sauce room every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, man, it goes down on Clubhouse. Ah, oh, JJ, you got it, baby. Anything you need, I got you, my man. You, hey, you, you be in that sauce room every day, man. That's where we met. And I'm so happy we got the chance to connect. And I wish you nothing but the best of luck in all you're doing, man. Moving with your young kids, getting their podcast going, the whole nine. Any way I can help, please let me know. In this episode, I want you all to do two things for me. The first thing, I want you to make sure that you connect with Nick. You know, take, take a screenshot of this episode. Be sure to tag him, your boy Swish. Be sure to tag Beyond the Ball podcast on Instagram. And just like you said, connect with him, meet him in the sauce room on Clubhouse because that's where it goes down every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. They're adding value at a very high level. And I want you all to know, I want you all to make sure, make sure, make sure you lock in, get close on this because you all, we've talked about it before. I've said it many times, talking about the podcasting for players podcast program right so we've put together a way that student athletes can begin to start their own podcast and how, how they can begin to prepare for nil as it's coming up right and be ready to rock and ready to roll have their platform do everything that they need to do to have a successful podcast i want you all to click the link in my instagram bio click that link and also click it down in the show notes podcasting for players the time is now for our players to start their podcast, get their message out there, and be prepared to position themselves for long-term, lasting success. I'm Jonathan Jones. This is Beyond the Ball, where we help you succeed beyond your degree.